Well, hi. I'm live from the goat barn. I'm gonna plug in. So I apologize that uh, I had so many technical difficulties earlier and uh, I had to start the show a little late. Um, but uh, everything should be working now. Hopefully you can hear me. If you can't, then this whole thing is for naught, isn't it? Uh, but uh, yeah, so welcome. This is a, the first of uh, my summer mini concert series. And as you know, I'm Jesse. But I uh, write and release music under the name Choose the Sun. And so the songs that I'm going to be doing are all songs. Well, they're mostly songs that I uh, put online that you may know. And we'll talk sort of through it as we go. So I see a couple people have joined. Welcome, welcome. We just got started. Thanks for uh, thanks for joining me here in the Goat Barn. Uh, I'm gonna just uh, we're we're just gonna get started here. And I don't know if I mentioned before, but I am recording this, and uh, it'll be part of a, a, a live album at the end of this series of concerts. Um, so here we go. basis in like reality and how I uh, experience life and what I see in the world and uh, on the other side some of my songs are complete fantasy they're just stories that uh, I've made up 
um, as I've gone around. Um, and uh, so that song is just a story. Uh, it's a story about a, a guy who, a man who um, seeks to sort of run away from his problems. Um, and there's an answer to that at the end of that album. But the next song I'm going to play for you today um, is sort of in between the uh, real and the fiction. It has uh, ins was inspired by things that have happened to me. But the setting is is, is fictional. Um, I hope you like it. It's called Willow. again for uh, if you're joining me here live uh, make sure you comment let me know that you're here if you're watching live with me on uh, Father's Day happy Father's Day if you happen to be a father <laughs> um, 
Yeah, uh, leave a comment. Let me know that you're watching live. And uh, I'll be doing a giveaway this week of some of my music. Um, so this is the first uh, of six concerts that I'll be giving throughout the summer. And uh, I wanted to do these concerts for lots of reasons. One is that I don't get a lot of chance to play um, live. So I figured why not set up my own venue and just do my own thing. Um, and the second reason is that I uh, am actually recording a new EP, uh, a new set of songs that I've written that are brand new, and I wanted to sort of uh, debut them um, in concert form. So in every concert, I'll be uh, playing a brand new song for you, and then all those songs um, I'm also recording and will be releasing as an EP sometime in the fall. Um, so stay tuned for that. Uh, so the next song I'm going to play for you is something that's brand new, nobody's heard it before, um, and uh, uh, so this song is uh, one of those songs that's inspired by things that have happened in my life, um, and it's about how sometimes we can, uh, we know people, people who are close to us, who uh, can do things that we disagree with, right, things that bothers that we think are wrong. Um, and when that happens to people, especially to people that we care about, right, we have two responses. The first response and the, mo the more natural response is that we sort of condemn their actions, right? We shun them, push them away, and judge what they're doing. Um, I think for a lot of us, that's the sort of the first thing that we do with somebody around us that's something that we're not able to agree with. There's a second response that um, was illustrated from a passage in the Bible where there was a woman who was caught doing wrong and was brought to Jesus um, in order to get him to condemn her. And these accusers brought heavy rocks, and they were going to uh, use these rocks of punishment and execution um, in a way to trap Jesus. But Jesus said to these people, you who is without, the, uh, without sin, if there's anyone perfect, if there's anyone guiltless, you throw the first stone. And of course, since that's impossible, uh, none of us have lived a life free of mistakes, right? Everybody's had problems. Everybody's done something that they regret in their lives. And so one by one, the accusers dropped their rocks, rocks of punishment, and walked away until there was no one left. And Jesus showed us how to um, react to these situations by first showing grace, first showing love. And... Uh, that's what inspired this song. It's called Throw Stone. Every 
Nothing changed in a second and left me so unprepared. And I think you're mistaken on this path that you've taken. And though we can't agree, there's only one who will judge. And thank God it's not me. This fall, who's warm out here? In the goat barn. Um, so I'm going to play one more song for you. It's a mini concert. It's not a, it's not like a, a full a full length concert. So we'll be doing three to four songs every every time. Um, so I'm going to play one more for you. And I had prepared a song. <laughs> I had I've been working on prepared a song that uh, is one of my favorites that uh, I wrote for my wife Jessica. And I completely blanked, and I came to today, and it's Father's Day, of course. So I thought, oh, uh, I need to do a song about Father's Day. So at the last minute, I haven't, I haven't uh, practiced this song, <laughs> but it is perfect because um, the next song I'm going to play for you, I wrote um, when my son, Kason, was uh, getting ready to be born, my first uh, son. And uh, I wrote this before he was born, as uh, sort of as looking forward to when, what I would one day say to him. I was thinking, what would I say, what am I going to say to him when he's older? Um, so this is, this is about, uh, about and for Case, and, and I hope you enjoy this song. It's called Sapling. Here we go.
Thank you. Uh, thank you very much. And thank you to everyone who uh, watched along with me uh, with these uh, four songs. I do appreciate you. Make sure you leave a comment. Let me know that you were watching. Uh, I'll leave the, uh, I'll sort of make the cutoff about a half an hour. So if you showed up late, go back and watch the first part. And um, leave a comment. Let me know you're here. I will announce on my Facebook page, uh, facebook.com slash choose the sun uh, by the end of the week um, who is uh, who is um, who I'll draw for the uh, giveaway and um, let's see what else yeah well um, this has been fun I hope you enjoyed it I hope it all worked um, and I'm going to be doing this every Sunday go to uh, yeah face my Facebook page um, and uh, if you look under events, you'll be able to see all the calendar of all the concerts. I'm going to try and do them at 4 o'clock every Sunday, um, unless there's some extreme circumstances. Uh, finally, what was I going to say? Oh, um, I, uh, I, I don't have a tip jar set up, but if you'd like to support me um, financially, uh, uh, sort of a... Um, I thank you for the concert, anything like that. Feel free to go to my band page, uh, which is uh, Choose the Sun, uh, I'm sorry, Bandcamp page, uh, choose the sun.bandcamp.com, and uh, check out the albums I have there. Go to iTunes, uh, Google Play, Spotify, stream and download uh, any songs or albums, um, and that goes directly to me. Um, all that, um, uh, you know, everything that you ever you write goes straight to me. So I appreciate that. Um, or or uh, subscribe to my YouTube channel and check out uh, my songs and my other videos. Either way, I, uh, I've loved doing this and I'm looking forward to doing it next time. I will see you next week. I hope you have a great day, a good evening, and a happy Fox Day. Thanks a lot. See you next time. I see you. Here we go. Okay, bye-bye.